Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? <sighs> I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! Dead, you keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. And now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? Oh, sorry I didn't get the chance to mention it in the two seconds before you freaking attacked me! He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... Well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You call this working out? The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. I gave Drax what he wanted. He asked me to let him go. It wasn't easy for me, but I'd do it again. How can you possibly say that? You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. It's not too late to save Nebula. We don't give up on our own. The Forge is still out there. We can bring her back. <sighs> It feels like too much to ask for yet another chance. But maybe this time, I can finally atone for what I've done. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You're the strongest person I know. You're not that little girl anymore. Right. You're right. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, 
I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Like this. <laughs> yep. Definitely the same old Drax. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Hey, <laughs> good times. Thanks, guys. For coming back. I know we've all been through a hell of a lot together. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Baldin, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner. <laughs> you are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. Baldin is here to help us. He's a good guy. He promised to play bait for us to lure out Hala. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do. The killing. It can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hala's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm. How'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, 
The sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged. Moist. Reeking. Victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. Well, uh, thanks for not killing me. Oh, <laughs> come on. I wasn't actually going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. So what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. So, um, I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know... <laughs> You, and, uh, me, <laughs> I mean, I just care for you, a lot. I know. Oh, you, you do? Uh, okay. Uh, so, how do you feel? Peter, I, yeah, I, I uh, just, um, maybe... Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just. That's the, that's the pin going in the, uh, yeah. Just for later. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. 
Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody charged up the Eternity Forge, all those dead Kree are now alive Kree, and will need to be dealt with. Big ol' hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kinda like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. And I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes. We are. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Whatever it takes to get the job done, I'm in. Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. That sounds like you're volunteering, Rocket. Oh yeah, tell the 40-pound guy to steal the helmet off a Kree accuser. Be serious, Pete. Alright, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Yeah, and if all that don't work, Guess we'll just have to resurrect this guy and have him chop Hala's ships to pieces. <laughs> Good one. That could actually work. If the forge contains enough power. And if we could reacquire it. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll call that plan B. When in doubt, let magic save the day. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... I am good. Yeah.